Bank rules gives us the option to auto add transactions or just provide a rule which we can then review as we are dealing with our postings from the banking section. So if we go to the banking section here on the left hand side, uh, on the banking, we'll see that if I look at my list of transactions, I've got a, I've got a transaction here with, which shows a rule. So this transaction is fed from the, the bank and it's saying you've actually set a rule in the system here and I could, part of my review process, click on here and say, am I happy with what this rule is saying? And if I'm happy with it, I could add it in. So it's the rule is providing an instruction which I'm then confirming. But there is also an option in here to auto add transactions. So if I go to my rules at the top here, uh, but this particular rule that we were just looking at there for IT Support Center, if I click on edit there, I have an option at the bottom here to, if I wish, slide the bar and save it as an automatic entry. That means it wouldn't offer me the option to actually apply that particular rule from the bank here. It will automatically post it in and you can see one transaction has been added to the books because I've just automated that particular rule. So automation of rules and auto add does have its place, but you have got to be careful on which rules you want to apply an auto add to and which you don't. You can see now see on my list of rules here that in the little auto add column I've got a plus sign there. That means that this is now set to auto add in the future. So anything coming through for IT Support Centre will automatically apply into my postings. So you've got to be careful with that because we need to really monitor what's coming in from the bank. Uh, so just be careful, you need to have a checking process to make sure that you're happy that, that, that what, uh, what arrives is the right information, the right amount is claimed by the supplier, if it's for example a direct debit. Um, but also we've got to consider things like VAT, where we've, we set rules with VAT on, have we got the VAT appropriate VAT receipts? If this automation is coming through, we need to check that the VAT receipts are available for us to claim the VAT. So a lot of this automation needs to be carefully considered. Auto adding rules is great for things that don't have VAT on. So bank transfers is one area that I do a lot of setting automated rules for. You can also set automated rules a lot of the time for uh, items that are not feeding into the VAT return. So where there no VAT is recorded on the system. They're ideal for the automated rules. You will then need to consider whether you want to automate rules where there are things like VAT and make sure you've got the checking processes in to check that it's behaving correctly as it adds those rules in for us. But it can be a great time saver, it can particularly be a great time saver if you are doing a lot of backdating of entries and you can add in a lot of entries through the automated rule setting. So that's really rules and considering whether to auto add them in QuickBooks.